This place is called Sajongjeon and it was a place where official state affairs were conducted and the place where the king discussed state affairs with the ministers. One of the most common topics they talked about was Confucian scripture called Gyeongjeon. To talk about Confucianism, it was the most basic and important philosophy in Korea and influenced the whole country a lot. Now, back to Sajongjeon, there is no heating system in Sajongjeon, so it was very cold in the winter. So when the weather was cold, the king stayed in this Manchunjeon in the east and Chunchijeon in the west because it had an ondor, which is an underfloor heating system, to stay warm. The king also attended a class called Royal Lecture three times a day, in the morning, in the afternoon, and at night. Now, if you look closely behind the throne, you can see a picture. What do you think this thing drawn on it is? This is called Nyungdo, which has a meaning of the king and the official is fulfilling a delightful harmony together. Now, if you look here, this is called Angbuilgo, which is a sundial. It is made by a famous inventor in Korea called Chang Yongsi. Chang Yongsi was in the lowest class of the Joseon dynasty because he was born between a Chinese mother and a servant. But King Sejong helped him a lot with his exceptional promotion because he thought Joseon needed a genius like Gyeongshi. Now, back to Anguilgo, let's talk about how this thing works. Basically, it uses the sun's shadow to measure the time. And we can say that this is the actual exact time because nowadays we use the GMT. This line across the sundial is the time in the sun this, this season. This place is called the Tanggu, which was a warehouse to store the king's property such as rice, gold, silver, silk, and so on. It was the king's property, but when Joseon was going through a serious famine or various disasters, the king shared his rice to the people in order to show his support to them. Thank you for listening.